The hidden garden on her way to school, Lily discovered a mysterious path that twisted through the trees, a place no one had ever mentioned before. Lily had always been the curious type. With her bright red backpack bouncing against her back, she took her usual route to Maplewood Middle School, but that day, something caught her eye, a narrow path veiled by thick foliage. The path seemed to whisper her name, inviting her to explore. She glanced at her watch, debating the risk of being late. Curiosity 1 As she stepped onto the path, the world around her transformed. The air felt cooler, and sunlight filtered through the leaves, creating patterns on the ground. She walked a little further, her heart racing with excitement. The path led her to an enchanting clearing filled with vibrant flowers, their colors more vivid than anything she had ever seen. In the center stood an ancient oak tree, its gnarled branches stretching wide, almost as if to embrace the sky. What is this place? Lily wondered aloud, her voice echoing softly. She approached the oak, running her fingers over its rough bark. Just then, she noticed a small, weathered sign partially hidden in the grass. It read, The Hidden Garden, Only for the Brave and Curious. Lily's excitement surged. She explored the garden, marveling at the flowers, each one more unique than the last. There were blossoms that sparkled like jewels, others that changed colors as she moved closer. She even spotted butterflies fluttering around her, their wings painted in iridescent shades. After a while, she noticed a small wooden bench under the oak tree. Feeling tired yet exhilarated, she sat down to catch her breath. As she did, something glimmered in the grass nearby. Intrigued, she leaned closer and found an old, ornate key. It looked like it belonged to a treasure chest. What if there's a treasure hidden here? Lily thought, her mind racing with possibilities. She stood up, determination igniting her spirit. She searched the garden, looking behind flowers and under leaves, hoping to find a chest or a clue. Minutes turned into an hour, but just as she was about to give up, she noticed a small door at the base of the oak tree, nearly camouflaged by vines. Heart pounding, she inserted the key into the rusty lock. To her surprise, it clicked open with a satisfying turn. The door creaked as she pushed it ajar, revealing a small, dimly lit room. Inside, there were books, hundreds of them, each one glowing softly. Each book was titled with the name of a student from her school. Intrigued, Lily picked one up labeled Adventures of a Dreamer. As she opened it, words began to float off the pages, swirling around her. Suddenly, she was immersed in a vivid scene, she saw her classmates going on daring adventures, conquering fears and helping each other. The stories painted a picture of courage, friendship and creativity that stirred something deep within her. Just as quickly as it began, the vision faded, and Lily found herself back in the garden, the book still in her hands. She realized the stories in those books were the untold tales of her classmates, their dreams and aspirations waiting to be discovered. Feeling a surge of inspiration, Lily made her way back to school, the key tucked safely in her pocket. She burst into her first class, her heart racing with ideas. What if we created our own stories? What if we all shared our dreams? Her classmates looked at her, intrigued, and slowly, one by one, they began to share their own dreams and stories. The classroom buzzed with excitement, transforming into a space of creativity and collaboration. As the bell rang, signaling the end of the day, Lily felt a warmth spread through her chest. The hidden garden had given her a gift, a deeper connection with her friends and the courage to share their stories. In that moment, 
Lily realized that the true treasure was not gold or jewels, but the friendships and stories that bound them together, forever changing the way they saw themselves and each other. And so, with every new day, the garden thrived not just in the woods, but in the hearts of Lily and her friends, where dreams could blossom freely.